a pre-game brouhaha as the teams were leaving the ice at the end of the warm-up. The game has been delayed, and we're going to take a, a further look now at, at what took place. It began between Wendell Young and Andy Beasel and escalated from there, Mike. Well, Andy Beasel was down at, right where you see him, and then Wendell Young, and then Phil Crow came out on the ice. That's Phil Crow right there, and and then there, all the guys just kind of started pushing and shoving. The guys started spilling out of the locker rooms then. And the man in black there, that's John Blum, assistant coach. Then the assistant coach, Rich Crom, on the other side for Chicago. And eventually, you have so many guys out there that it's really hard to stop. And you just have to hope that the players stop themselves, which they eventually did as well when Kevin McGuire came out onto the ice and started uh, shooing guys back to the locker room. Well, Doug Baralt was out there for Chicago. I didn't see it live at the time. But as I remember the story, Andy Bezo, um, who was, you know, a guy who liked to stir the pot, was coming down the ice. He was about to exit. Almost all the players were off the ice at this point. He fired a puck into the Wolves' net. And Wendell took offense, and he went at Bezo. Now everybody starts to get together. Haymakers are starting to get thrown. And then guys start to pour from the dressing room up the runway and onto the ice. And a full-out brawl ensues. God, I, I think we had maybe four or five guys left on the ice, and I was one of those guys that usually stayed around to the end. And um, it so happened here, obviously at the All-State, we got to go through their warm-up to get off the ice. And I think some of the players, or one of the players, and I honest to goodness couldn't tell you which one it was, but um, for some reason I think Wendell was involved in some some form or other. I was right there. Who was a Beauregard or goalie at the time? Am I saying that right? He was. Always wanted to be the last guy off the ice, so right where we come off the ice, he's just leaning. And I believe it was, I think his first name's Andy Bijou. Took a shot, nailed Beauregard, and then all hell broke loose. Our goalie, Bo Stefan Beauregard, was playing game seven. Because you were and, injured. And I was injured, and he he was trying to go off the ice, try to shoot a puck in the net, try to go off the ice, and then their, a bunch of their tough guys wouldn't let him off the ice. And three guys, it was me, Stevie Never. Martins and Dougie Brawl. Dougie Brawl, I don't think he had a fight in his life. Never. And he right. taps me, he goes, And Stevie Martins? And Stevie Martins. And Stevie's, you know, Stevie's, I'm not tall, Stevie's shorter than me. And <laughs> we're the only ones left on the ice, and I'm going, and Dougie goes, Something's going on down there. Oh, God. So now Bezo, their tough guy, has Borger, not going to let him off. I go down, get, by the time I get down there, I cross check Bezo into the boards, and then it starts. And then their trainer watched runs down to their dressing room, yells for all their guys. And that's why those guys were had gone in there to sure. take some of their equipment off. They're all running out. Thank God for Rosemont police, because they saved some of us. I've had guys all, it was it was bizarre. And finally, our guys kind of drifted out, and it was like three of us, and I'm pinned against the wall, and just, it was crazy. All of a sudden, we see something happen, and we saw all, all of the precipitous events of the shooting of the puck and all of this. And, and then the boys start coming out, and they're going, Oh, this is going to be good, especially since they're not on skates. They're going to be throwing some punches here that are going to land. It was one of the best street fights I had ever seen. I, I just remember Stefan Beauregard coming in, and he was our goalie that night, and he said, they should not have pissed me off. I just remember being in my training room right before that game started, and I said, we just won the, the, call, the, the Turner Cup. We just won because they, they should have never woke up the bear. <laughs>